everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a glow-in-the-dark sea jelly design. I absolutely love this, love this, love this over the top a million times. The black background with the glowing neon jellyfish on top is just so eye-catching and I absolutely just adore it. It's super easy. It actually takes very little time at all. In fact, this video isn't as sped up as I usually do speed up my videos because it just was so quick and I wanted to take a little bit more time to explain everything. So I hope you guys love it. And if you are curious about the glowing powders that I used, all but one of them are from Double Dip. The other one is a jelly color and I can put, you know, all the description box information about all of those. But the other two, the bright pink one or the corally color one and the clear one are Double Dip. And those ones I really like the texture of and the way that they work and the way that they're used. Sometimes glow in the dark powders can get a little bit crummy feeling as far as like almost granular. Those ones don't have that texture at all. So I highly recommend those and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So we're going to begin with an overlay of clear acrylic on this nail just to make sure that the nail itself isn't going to bend and make the 3D art pop off of it because that is a real concern. And before we get too far into this, Melody is here and she is helping me with today's, um, today's video, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, because she really likes to help mommy with voiceovers, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So then after we have the clear acrylic applied, we're going to file this nail into shape to make sure it is nice and smooth and strong, and then apply a layer of black gel polish over the nail just to kind of black out the background. And I love the look of black gel polish over black acrylic because it just looks more more solid and more black. And then apply some gel sealer over the top of that, cure it, and then on a nail form backing, we're going to start sculpting our sea jelly. So I have a three-toned bead of acrylic. It's that glow-in-the-dark coral color, a glow-in-the-dark clear, and then a pink that isn't glow-in-the-dark. So I'm going to do those three and then kind of press it out into a long skinny shape. And the reason I do have one color in there that isn't glow in the dark is because that's going to help create some definition between the tentacles once they are placed on the nail. So we're going to stretch it out into our long skinny shape and then we're going to start. And then we're going to take and we're going to try to get it nice and smooth on the sides and then press it back and forth and back and forth to create a wavy pattern. And before we get too far, I do want to apologize. There is a section of this video that is missing. So this particular arm part of the video, you are going to do three times. And then once they set up enough where you can, you're going to pick them up and place them onto the nail. And that's the part of the video that got, I don't know, disappeared when I was trying to record it apparently. So like I said, I do apologize for that. If there's any questions, it's very similar to the Moana to doing Moana's hair. So I can put a link to that video in the description box below. But after you have your three tentacles on, you're going to add a base layer to the bell with that same glowing coral acrylic, which is just such a pretty color. And then using a, sh a shade of really bright neon yellow, we're going to be sculpting the gonads of our jellyfish. So that uh, neon yellow is the one that's the jelly color. And I can put what that one is in the description box too for anybody that's, that's curious. So we're going to sculpt three petal looking shapes right at the top of our jellyfish or sea jelly. It's sea jelly, isn't it, Melody? Yeah. yeah. And so we're going to be sculpting those. And then after that, on a nail form backing, we're going to place down a bead of its uh, double dips color, Bodacious. And it's the glow in the dark, the I clear, mean, no, no, no. in the clear glow in the dark color. And just sculpt it into a flat oval. And then let that sit there and then slide our brush underneath it and then pick it up and place it on the bell of our jellyfish or sea jelly. My goodness, Melody, I usually don't have issues with that one, but we're going to place that down and then we're going to just kind of start pressing it in, into the shape of the bell. So just sort of tuck it in and curl it around the bottom of the, of the bell and just sort of press it in. As you're working on it, it's not going to look perfect and that's okay, especially around the top and the side edges where it attaches to the nail. So to fix that up, all you're going to need to do is grab more of that glowing clear and just sort of apply it around those gap areas. As you can see, I've got a gap right along the top. We don't want that. We want this to all look very smooth and like it's attached to each other. Just plus, uh, press that bead down, sort of tuck it in around those edges and just kind of fill it in so that there's no, no funny business. And then just sort of bring those in. And when you're doing them on the sides, use use acrylic that is a little bit more on the wet side so it blends in with everything. And it doesn't um, kind of give you those air bubbly like gaps. 
So just keep sculpting that bell around the outside edges until it looks fully complete. And while we're working on that, I do just want to mention that if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. If you are, you know, an appreciator of this kind of crazy art or somebody that likes to work on acrylic and, you know, just expand the possibilities of what you can do with it, definitely take the minute to subscribe, subscribe to my channel because I'm always doing crazy stuff like this. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So then as you're looking at this, if you are worried about the color of the gonads that I used because it just seemed a little bit too contrasting, as you can see, once the bell is sculpted, it's a lot less visible. So it's a lot more subdued than it looked in the beginning. So now we're going to take some pieces of pink thread and we're going to be gluing them under the bell. And these are going to be for the tentacles. And you can, you can do just a few or you can do many of them. I did four tentacles glued under the edge. Just take those pieces of pink thread and place them underneath. The glue should hopefully stick pretty quickly. I know for me, nail glue usually sticks fairly fast when you're using something like thread that's absorbent. But then once you have them and they're all glued into place, you're going to start with the one that you glued first and you're going to start gluing them onto the glue them onto the arms so you're going to take the first tentacle and you're going to glue it onto one of the arms and kind of give it that sort of flow you want it to make it look like it's moving in the water so then take the second one and glue the second one down and just sort of pull it and stretch it into the right place so they all have sort of the same direction to them and then glue the third one down just sort of hold it a little um Angle tweezers is a great tool to help with this particular process. And glue the last one down. And once they're all glued down and the glue is set up pretty well, then you can trim off the excess thread with a little manicure scissors. My thread is excessively curly on the end, so I'm going to try to get rid of most of that. And then we just get rid of all of that. And then you've got your little threads. And now I'm going to add just a couple details to my bell with some darker red acrylic paint. Keep in mind that all of these little details that you add with that darker red color are not going to glow. So if you want this to just be a super glowy over the top design, don't add any extra details to it. Call your jellyfish complete. But if you want it to have a little bit more detail to it that will actually show through in the dark, then adding just a little bit of, you know, like a spotty texture or outlining the little bits here and there are just going to add a bit, you know, just a little bit more, a little more detail, a little bit more to look at. So after you have all of that done, I'm going to apply a 3D glaze over the bell. And just over the bell, I'm not going to worry about applying it over the tentacles or anything else. Just the bell is perfect. And then that is it. I absolutely love this design. What do you think of it, Melody? Do you like it? No. Do you like the colors? So I guess there we have it. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. I absolutely love this design, like I said in the beginning, in the intro, just the colors, the glow in the dark, everything about it is just one of my favorites I've ever done. Plus, all things considered, it's actually relatively easy for what I've done. I hope you guys love it as much as we do, and don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well.